Hey guys, what's up? It is October 1st. What? You guys, it's already October. This is insane. So happy October, yay! <laughs> If you guys don't know me, my name is Leda, also known as The Real Leda on all things social. And I am prepping for my first bodybuilding competition. I will be competing in figure. And we are, since it's the first, we are essentially 27 days. 27 days out. Crazy. Crazy. Pretty much exactly four weeks from yesterday. So, oh man. So, I guess we're going to start counting down by the number of days because that makes the most sense. But today's a rest day, like a full rest day, meaning um, no fasted cardio, no anything, just letting my body recoup. It's also a low-carb day. So, basically, I have two meals that have um, 25 grams of carbs for now, for now. Usually, what that looks like is either a half a cup of oats, uh, which I normally have first thing in the morning, and um, or a half a cup of like rice. And rice in the sense of like brown rice, or if I do white rice, it's basmati or jasmine rice. So um, that's it. Every other meal I have is um, chicken, fish, and vegetables. And we're sticking to like, uh, green vegetables so like spinach and cucumber so the dark uh, green vegetables Brussels sprouts things of that nature so but I'm grateful for this rest day because I think my body actually needed it this time um, but yeah we just had some friends over um, in which we uh, set out a lot of food on the Blackstone we did quesadillas with friends so all I did um, what I ate is basically the chicken that we cooked on the Blackstone and I had some green beans so that's how I got around that um, and man got a lot of food cooked for meal prep for the rest of the week so anytime I can take advantage of whenever we fire up that Blackstone like it is clutch clutch I love it so but that's pretty much it um this point I'm literally just about to um work on some business stuff and uh really relax for the rest of the day drink my water and really take advantage of this full rest day because we're gearing back up tomorrow morning <laughs> so all right you guys I'll see you in the next one bye Hey guys, what's up? Today is Monday, September, or sorry, not September, it's October, <laughs> October 2nd. Uh, it's about 5.26 a.m. Done with our fasted cardio and 60 minutes on the Stairmaster. About to head home, get ready for the day. This is an office day, so like, I gotta actually get ready. So, um, what I'll try to do today, it's also a low carb day, so I'll try to include like what I eat on a low carb day. I haven't done that just yet, I don't think. So I'll see you at meal number one. Bye. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? So I'm on my way to work. Just a quick update. Ate my breakfast already. Like, I know I was hungry, but it's six egg whites. I have a cup of steel cut oats and then um, a serving of um, all natural peanut butter. Um, and then I throw in like a little bit of cinnamon in my peanut butter as well. And some pink Himalayan salt on my eggs. That's it. So that was uh, my very first meal. First meal does include carbs. Again, this is my low carb day. So 
the next time I'll have carbs is like meal four. So, just a quick update there. However, let's also talk about a mindset that that I was, or like a thought that came into my mind over the weekend, and that was, um, you know, I was looking in the mirror, practicing my posing and everything, and seeing like all of the progress that I've been, that I've made so far. I'm starting to see a lot of the muscle development. I'm starting to see a lot of the lines, especially in my legs. I've never seen in my legs before my different quad muscles and like I'm really starting to see them. I've never seen in my legs before my hip flexors and I can definitely see them. So it's like, wow, you know, I've come a long way. However, it's 26 days and I still have a long way to go. I still have to lean out. So my quick thought that I had was, holy shit, it is 26 days. Or at this time it was 30 because it was over the weekend. But I'm like, wow, like, what if, what if I'm not lean enough on stage? Like, what if I'm not lean enough? Then what? And it's like I sat there and I thought about it and I let it sit for a moment. And I answered that with, so what? So what? I don't know what lean enough means. Like, what does that even mean? I don't know. I've never done this before. So, like, how would I know what that even feels like? How do I know what lean enough even looks like on my body? I don't. So, where does that thought even come from? I don't know, probably looking at too many people, too many other bodybuilders on social media, maybe. So, we're going to stop that. It's just that simple. Like, the, the thought process, when it comes to that, I had to think about it. I had to let it sit for a moment. And then think, do I even know what, quote, lean enough means for me? And I don't. This is my first time doing this, and I have no idea. And I think even after like four shows I still might not have an idea because you guys after every single show you get feedback from the judges on how to do better so at every single show even if they're a week or two apart you can look different the purpose is to look different at every single show and bring the best package that you can so after each show you get the feedback from the judges you take it back you work on it you come back stronger, you come back better the next show. So, why am I worried about that now? It doesn't make any sense, you know? And it's just like, let's go into this for the next 26 days, which, 26 days, I still can't believe it. And we're going to execute harder than we ever have. You guys, we've been executing hard as fuck, but we're going to push it more. We're going to push it more. Not stress ourselves out, but push harder. And we're going to execute harder. And we're going to put the best package ever of my current self on stage. Because I can't say ever, because again, next show, I'm going to have feedback. We're going to work on it, and it'll be a longer prep. You know what I mean? So, for my current self, and for my for my first show, we're going to put the best package we can in this time. And I'm so excited. So excited. But like, it's 26 days. Holy shit. We'll see how it goes. Right? Alright, you guys, I'm pulling up to work, so I will see you next time. Bye.
5.35, just finished with house and cardio, and now I'm going today, it was hard, like, to get up, and I have these days right now where, like, fasted cardio is hard, yet I'm thankful for it, in a way, um, like, it's just too hard to get up just because I'm, I'm just tired, like, no lie, I'm just tired, I get up at 4 a.m., so it's like, alright, you know, you not getting dressed, um, and then my body's still in the first, like, five to seven minutes still kind of waking up while I'm on the stairmaster. Um, but usually by the end of it, I'm pretty thankful, especially when I get home and shower right and, like, get my breakfast and coffee. Um, I'm actually pretty thankful for it because it reminds, it, like, gives more intention on the day, if that makes any sense. Like, it sets me up and puts me in the right mindset for the rest of the day. And it reminds me of my goals. It reminds me that, you know, I can put myself first. Um, it reminds me that I can do hard things, like I tell you guys. <clears throat> that, um, and that I'm strong. You know, but it's, it's, I think it's getting to that point in this prep where it's, it's getting tougher. Um, not that prep hasn't been tough this whole time, like it has, where it, right now it's just a little harder than it was before. And I expect it to get worse, <laughs> worse in the next 25 days you know what I mean so a lot can change in 25 days um but now you guys we are counting days down like days went from like months to weeks to days it's just insane but I want to remind you guys too like when things like this happen and it's hard or it's getting hard you just have to rely on your discipline. You just have to rely on your your very deep self, your very deep passion, your very deep intention. That's that's how I get up every day. Because I know, one, I know at the end of it, I'll be grateful. At the end of, you know, the fasted cardio, at the end of, you know, this, this prep, um, at the end of the day, um, I'm always thankful for getting for getting my ass up. Um, although in the moment it, it's rough, so I always think I, I'm doing it for future me. You know, right now me is looking out for future me. So um, also for those of you who are going through something like this, you know whether it's just. Whether it's a weight loss journey, whether it's prep or whatever, keep these days in mind, but also don't be quiet about them. Let your coaches know as well that that you're tired. Like it's okay, you're not complaining, you know. But they do need to know if you're just tired or you're getting to that point where you're exhausted. There's there's a big difference. So right now it's just it's way too early for me to text my coach I'll probably text it I said way too early but then I'll text her in like an hour <laughs> so um but yeah all right you guys time for me to get ready for the day bye hey guys what's up so let's let's talk about a little hack that I've been doing right the little hack is is that Every morning I make myself six eggs, right? Six eggs, half a cup of oats with some peanut butter, a little bit of uh, ground sugar, and a little bit of pumpkin spice, right? No big deal, right? But what I like to do is when it comes to my oats, if I'm really, really hungry, I will make my oats with extra water because it 
looks like, number one, it looks like the volume is a lot bigger because of all the water in it. But two, it actually sits in my stomach as if, like, it, as if the volume is bigger because of the extra water. And we all know we all could use that extra water. But then if I'm not as hungry, I back off on the water. <laughs> so it becomes a little thicker. It's crazy. But I noticed that I've been doing that a lot more <laughs> depending on how I'm feeling. So, yeah. I manipulate the water within my oats depending on my hunger at the time. Is that usual or like... <laughs> I feel like I'm the only one that does that, but hey, it's working. That's all that can, that matters to me, is that like, it's working. All right, another hack, right? So still sticking with my whole situation. Um, I am allowed one serving of <clears throat> peanut butter, like real peanut butter, this is what I use. You know, it's real peanut butter because you go here and ingredients dry roasted peanuts, and salt. That's it, right? Compared to my husband's favorite kind of peanut butter, which is Jeff, says natural. However, ingredients, sugar, peanuts, sugar, palm oil, contains 2% of less of salt or molasses. Like, Yeah, um, if you catch my drift. Going back to my peanut butter, again, ingredients, dry roasted peanuts, salt. That's all you need, okay? Now, again, I'm I am allowed a serving, come here. One serving size is 32 grams. You put it on the scale first. Make sure we zero out the scale. Also make sure it's in the right measurement, right? And you guys, math is fun. So you just take some peanut butter out until you reach 32 grams. Now this will also account for the, not just the peanut butter, that I put into the bowl, but also, sorry about that, but also the peanut butter that's left on the spoon, right? Let me see, we have two grams. Uh, there we go. So it's also what's left on the spoon. So, meaning I don't get any extra because if you try to like, if you try to do it the opposite way with putting this on the scale and trying to pull peanut butter out and measure it the opposite way, then you're missing what is left on the spoon. So that means you're getting extra grams, it's extra fats, and sometimes the extra isn't good. Now, if you also see, it says 32 grams or two tablespoons. I could have gotten an actual like measuring spoon and took out two tablespoons. But let's be honest. One, that's a pain in the butt. And two, who wants to sit there and wash all these extra measuring spoons? I don't care to do that. This just makes it simple, makes it easy, it counts for every single drop, and bam, it's all done. So, one, that's an easy way to get any type of, like, any type of, like, condiment like this, or any type of situation like this, that's the easiest way. But then also, take a look at your fruit labels. Like, this says all natural, but as you saw earlier, Jif also said natural, and it has, like, palm oil and sugar, and this just has a little, literally, roasted peanuts and salt. That's it. Check out your food labels, people. <sighs> 
So, Coach took away artificial sweeteners. Hmm. So that means no creamer, no Splenda, just black coffee. I, I'm trying, like, I got, I'm trying. Part of me, we're, we're going to try this, but, like, I kind of think that if, like, if this is not going to work out today, we just might not do coffee at all and just go for the next 23 days without coffee. We might. Because, man... This is rough. Like, my husband drinks black coffee, and I just, like, I don't get it. I like, uh, maybe because I like the extra. I like the sugar, as most people do. But, like, Maybe I'm going to try. I have two different kinds of coffee. So this one is by Kent Rollins, and it's cowboy coffee, and it's very smooth. It's very light, very smooth, but it's also like, I don't know. But I have a Dunkin' Donuts for, um, coffee as well that I might try and see if that's any more pleasant. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. <clears throat> With a new coffee. Let's try this. Well, it's very, very, very hot. So, while it cools down for a little bit, let's talk about some of the changes. We have some new changes as of like yesterday. So, breaking news, or I guess, yeah, breaking news after it took me a moment to digest everything. So, first and foremost, all of this news is in regards to nutrition. My workouts are not changing. So we still have the 60 minute on the Stairmaster in the morning, followed by um, a lift in the evening, and then a 45 minute cardio session in the evening, which comprises of 30 minutes heavy resistance on the elliptical, um, and then 15 minutes of a 30 second sprint, 30 second rest, right? Okay. So that doesn't change. Um, when it comes to, oh, and then people have asked me in regards to like my splits, like my lifting splits. And to be honest, I'll have to take a look because I really, I really don't know. Uh, the reason why I don't know is because um, coach, she loads them in there and I am so focused on just executing. I literally just know that I'm going to the gym, know that there's going to be a workout in there. I get dressed, I get to the gym, I do what's listed. I keep it moving and push as hard as I can. So I am just so focused on what's in the mo in the moment as to what's going on. I haven't realized how many days a week I do upper body, how many days a week I do lower body. I don't know because I just I go and I do um so yes um to everyone that has asked me I don't know <laughs> like and I'm sorry um but okay so nutrition changes first and foremost my gallon of water has now been bumped to a gallon and a half for um for now and then we're going to try to do, I think next week, we're going to try to do two gallons. So, yeah, that for me, some people say that that's a lot of water. Um, it can be. At first, it will feel like a lot for me. But you have to also think, I am working out 
anywhere between two and a half and three hours a day, like my body needs a lot of water to one, fuel those workouts and to stay up with my hydration. Um, considering how much I sweat. I am a sweater. If you guys didn't know, I am a sweater. I would think that that's a little obvious in my other videos, but like I, my body sweats a lot. So to make sure that I combat that and I don't dehydrate myself, I, my body needs a lot of water. A lot of this extra water though is also to make sure that everything is moving well in my body, making sure that you know, my digestion is moving very well. Make sure that I, um, my electrolytes are doing really well because if my electrolytes are thrown off, then obviously you get muscle cramps and that is not what we're trying to have, especially on stage. Um, and, but main thing is to make sure that like my body is also filtering out as much waste as possible. And as I'm, so as I burn fat, it will turn into, you know, energy, which my body uses, but also waste in which I need to remove and all the water helps with that. Um, so yeah. Um, also the water will also help with my, any type of cravings or any type of hunger pains I may have, um, helps a lot too. So when it comes to food, I am on uh, still five meals, um, but we're done with the carb cycling and we're strictly on, um, you know, two meals with carbs, uh, three meals without, and strictly um, green vegetables. So the Brussels sprouts, asparagus, broccoli, um, spring mix, spinach, those type of things, cucumbers. Um, and then trying to eliminate as many of um, inflammatory vegetables as possible. So when it comes to carbs limited to um, white rice, however, it has to be jasmine or basmati. Um, let me see, sweet potatoes, um, oats. I do still cut oats. Um, it's pretty much the three that I stick with. Oh, and, there, and Ezekiel bread. Um, so I did Ezekiel bread for like a week and I love that stuff. However, it doesn't, my body doesn't do well with Ezekiel bread um, as a pre-workout meal. Uh, and in the morning, it's just too heavy for me. So if finding things like that out about my body really, really helped. So, and then of course, proteins, we have white fish, shrimp, and chicken, um, chicken breast. So very simple, very clean. And the, obviously again, the purpose is not just to lose weight, but to do it in the healthiest possible. Like, yeah, I'm trying to get on stage and I wanna be in the best physique of my life, which I will be, but I also, we also want my body to be in the best health it can be as well. So not stressing it out more than it needs to be just for a stage. Um, so, yep. Um, okay, let's go ahead and try this. It's, <laughs> it's not any better. <laughs> This is not like it's just not any better. I would think it would taste better because it's like a uh one of those flavored coffees, but like it's just black coffee, like I don't know if you can see it, but it's literally just black coffee. There's no sweetener or anything, but you know how they have those like flavored coffee grounds? Yeah. I don't even know what flavor it is. Like, and that's the thing. Like, between this and the cowboy coffee, the only way I can tell the difference is because they're in two different mugs. Besides that, like, I just may not be a black coffee drinker. Like, I may just have to, like, not do this. 
<sighs> so, this is editing Lita, and I just realized that after that whole coffee fiasco, I didn't really record much after that, so I apologize. Just to give you a quick recap, Friday, I did fast and cardio, um, you know, had my normal work day and everything. Um, Troy had his swimming practice, and here's Brute. <laughs> Troy had his swimming practice, and then um, in the evening, I just did a quick lift, um, not quick, but I did my lift and the cardio as well. Um, and then Saturday, uh, the usual. However, however, hi, Sabian. Um, talking about Sabian, something happened this weekend. So I am going to close this out here um, and just leave you with some pictures of what's happened over the weekend. All right, you guys. Enjoy. Love you. Stay weird. And remember, you can do hard things. Bye.